best spectator sport in the nation is hottest in the dirt. The full throttle life of a dirt track racer. Stop idiot rear end me after the race. Always on the verge of a major breakdown. Night after night, in town after town. Riding handmade horsepower, these dirt nights are on a quest. An unending search for speed and a tireless battle for survival, both on the track and off. This is what's wrong with my life. This is everything I own, my race car, my race parts. This is my race shop. It's a life very few to live, but for these drivers and their teams, a high-octane life in the dirt he puts his car in situations it should be in. This is the only life worth living. Oh, and there's trouble in turn one. Tune in. Al Haina is the godfather. A strong-willed perfectionist who demands nothing but the best from his team, his car, and himself in a relentless pursuit of a national championship. Al, he's just, he's the, I don't even really know how to explain him. I get, uh, I get kind of ornery sometimes when things don't go right. And there's punches stuff, throwing tools. Um, if he didn't care when we made fun of him, if it didn't make him mad, we probably would never do it, you know? But it does, it works him up, so we just keep pushing the screw on him. He has anger issues, and you should work on it. All I gotta do is kill one of these <laughs> Because you have anger issues! Yeah, this. There's never a dull moment with Mike right, Spaulding Tony. around. But underneath the crazy exterior is a man trying to claw his way back from a battle with addiction. <laughs> It's been a struggle for me. Probably six, seven years ago, I started using meth, and, and my life just went downhill after that. Had a good job, lost all that. You know, went into rehab and got clean, but then came out starting a new life that um, I wasn't used to, you know, after working 26 years. Had a house fire, of course, and lost my house. Thank God I didn't lose my family. I lost everything. No, no insurance. When I come down here, I have fans coming down. Hey, good to see you back, Mike. Hey, can we get your autograph? You got any t-shirts? Not only cheering for you as a race car driver, but as a person. I came inches from death. Don't want to go down that road again. With his son AJ at his side, Mike is on a mission for dirt track glory. Living the dream, living the dream. Ryan Gustin is known as the Reaper. A 19-year-old dirt track phenom who was born to drive a race car. I started racing in 1993. I was three years old at the time, racing go karts. That's right, here's where it all started. Yeah, I always wanted to go to the races. I mean, I was so young when I started racing, I don't even remember racing. This kid, he gets in with the right team and moving up and everything and gets the right coaching. I mean, he's the kid that could be the next Dale Earnhardt. They, they can't even hold this kid's jock strap. But the kid has to play by the rules of team owner Ed Gressel. All well, that stuff just ridiculous. Who is never afraid to share his opinion. lives his life in the fast lane. For the big cock racing team, there are no boundaries. And that's an attitude that can spell trouble, both on the track and off. Uh, my dad always tried to get me to race forever. And I was a drag racer. That's what I did. He was drag racing motorcycles back uh, just out of high school. Went on a ski trip, snow skiing. Jumped off a cliff. Great jump, bad landing. <laughs> Shattered my leg. Went back to go drag racing to flip my bike over backwards the first week. And uh, the doctor said that you're fine, but you need to pick a safer hobby. So I sold my bike on a Monday, bought my first race car on a Thursday, first race on a Friday. And the first time I sat in a race car, hit the wall, spun out, went to the infield, got out of the race car, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. 
No kisses. <laughs> he may be a baby faced South Dakota farm boy, but don't let the youthful exterior fool you. John Tash is one of the hottest drivers on dirt. Still, a loving wife and a brand new baby girl keep this budding star firmly grounded. I'll probably race my whole life. As far as the full-time traveling, um, it's hard telling. When my daughter starts kicking soccer balls and all that kind of stuff, I, you know, summertime you miss all that stuff. John Tess with a good late race charge here. I've get, definitely got goals. I'd love to win this championship deal. I'm never happy with second. At least we got to race. Made enough money to uh, put fuel in the truck to get to the next one, I guess. Each and every night, these stock car racing vagabonds crisscross the country, feeding the frenzy of some 80 million racing fans nationwide. Trading pay with the best dirt track racers in the world, including from time to time. Hey, Earnhardt! The shining stars of NASCAR returning to their roots. Sometimes when you come back to the dirt car, it reminds you why you wanted to go NASCAR in the first place. It's like vacation for me. I love it. But along this endless road of struggles and successes, up, conflict and courage. We're liable to suck <laughs> stickers right off of your car when he goes by uh, The Dirt Knights form a common bond in pursuit of a national championship and an unwavering embrace of the agony of victory in the dirt. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming.